it's a big night of high school sports in our community. The News 8 Highlight Zone starts now. Good evening and welcome to the first winter News 8 Highlight Zone of the year. I'm Greg Wabernick. And I'm Kyle Dackelbaum. This should be a fun season of hoops in our area. Yeah, even with Matt Thomas, Bronson Koenig, and Tim Wagner gone, among others, there's a tremendous amount of talent in the area. One example would be Tim Wagner's former team, GET. Yes, the let's start with GET hosting Arcadia tonight. These were two of the top three teams in the league last year. Third quarter, Arcadia's Justin Thomas pulls up for a three-pointer. Raiders pull within five. Fourth quarter, GET trying to pull away. Tanner Babros to Lucas Scherer for the lay-in. They go up Ooh, by 12. But Arcadia is hanging in there. Rob Hesley takes the rebound. The distance for the layup, they cut the double-digit deficit down to single digits to eight. Later, GET's Nick Wagner pulling up for the basket and one to go back Ooh. up by 13. Red Ox hold on to win this one, 48 to 41. It feels pretty good to come out and get the win here. You know, because it's a conference game, and we just wanted to come out and uh, play hard. We knew it was going to be tough because we were rivals, and, but yeah, we came out we played hard. Luther's the defending co-champs. They open up conference play against Westby. The Norse knocked off the other defending co-champ, GET, earlier this week. Luther wins a or <laughs> Right here is the Luther <laughs> basket three-pointer. We don't have a script at all, so we'll just watch these highlights roll as we go in. Uh, this looks like second half action now. Luther getting the layup there. Luther is going to win this one against Westby, a final score of 63 to 51. And a great atmosphere there at Luther. 22. This is not the playoffs. Um, I, I'm not. I, I'm just glad that we had all these people out tonight. And it's fun to play in this atmosphere. Um, it's fun to see who your team is. It's good to get this great competition this early. But that's that's it. I'm not going to put any more stock into that than that. A lot of buzz around this season's West Salem team. Panthers off to a 4-0 start. They host Viroqua. We join this game in the fourth. Viroqua trailing by eight. And Aaron Pass goes past midcourt. West Salem's Billy Tremaine snatches it up. And the junior oh. has an easy lay-in to grow the lead. Panthers running away with this one. They beat the Blackhawks press. Missed the first shot, but Bailey Williams there to tip it back in. He put up a team high 27 points tonight. West Salem continues their undefeated season 59-41 is the final. Well, the Onalaska girls ran away with the MVC last season, the program's first ever MVC title. Hilltoppers lost to Central in the regional finals. Seventh ranked Ana hosting a BRF team that failed to notch a win in the Cooley last season. And let's skip ahead here later. It's Emily McDonald putting the Hilltoppers up 4-0. Ana winning big. It is 54-19, the final score. Logan going for its first win this season. Eau Claire North won the Big Rivers last year. This was a five-point game entering the fourth. 36-31 Logan. Then the Rangers go off, as does Macy Hemp. The three, then the layup, 40-33 Rangers. Then another three, 45-34 Rangers. And for good measure, the push ahead, the layup, and one. Macy Hemp scoring most of her 15 points in the final frame. Rachel Rank adds 14 of her own. Logan wins 51-38. Let's make one more city stop as Central hosts Eau Claire Memorial. First quarter, Brittany Baldwin to Caitlin Rosh. Corner pocket three is good. Central with an early lead. Then check out the passing here around the horn. Brooke Baldwin to Karina Poon, who eventually gets it to Shane Fair. Central again taking the lead. Memorial, though, wins this one. The final score, 42-29. to We'll still... A couple, we're hoping a couple stops in Eau Claire. We're watching the News 8 Highlight Zone. Welcome, Welcome back to the News 8 Highlight Zone. A few MVC boys teams up in Eau Claire, uh, in the Eau Claire region this evening. Central is ranked 8th in the latest Wisports.net coaches poll. And the Red Raiders at Chippewa Falls, they get into triple digits. 105-61 over Chippewa Falls. Been a long time since that's happened. And it's Mitchell Johnson, 5 assists. 14 points. Logan and Eau Claire North in overtime. Logan wins 65 63. They beat Eau Claire North in overtime. A Tanner Perzina buzzer beater 
for Logan, they win it 65-63. We apologize. We had highlights. Uh, we weren't able to effort them uh, to you this evening, though. Otoma hosting River Falls. The Timberwolves looking to gain momentum after finishing sixth in the MVC last season. Toma forcing a slow pace to this game. They hold the ball for the first 75 seconds before Trey Hughes buries the three for the first points of the game. They're not booing. They're huge. <laughs> Later in the first, Timberwolves moving the ball. Hughes pump fakes. The senior drives to the hoop for another basket. Toma winning a tight one, 37-36. And Onalaska moves above the 500 mark with a 59-45 win at Eau Claire Memorial. It was an uncharacteristic season last year for the Blair Taylor boys. Let's pick it up now, Wildcats. And it's Blair Taylor, early second quarter. Lincoln's Colton Flick drives and hits it. Wildcats in the attack now. Brett Ladson can't connect off the glass. Teammate River Kirscher there with the rebound and put back. More from the Wildcats at the length of the floor. Blair Taylor a 13-point lead. Blair Taylor wins 60-49. to Another Dairyland Large meeting has Cochran Fountain City at Melrose Mindoro. First quarter, CFC's Brody Halverson is going to be left wide open along the wing. He hits the three-pointer. Pirates taking a seven-point lead. Back come the Mustangs, Aaron Scape drives to the basket. He gets the hoop and harm. 19 points on the evening for Scape. Still in the first, CFC's Dylan Giger. But getting the tough points in the paint. Pirates up six. CFC wins by 15 over Melman. Dairyland small action, Independence hosting Gilmanton. First quarter, Indies. Mitchell Warner doesn't connect on the layup, but he's going to get his own rebound and put back. That ties the score at two nice. apiece early on. Later on, a loose ball. Gilmanton's Devin Osa comes up with the great save at the other end of the court. The Panthers' Desmond Davis connects. Gilmanton now up 8-2. Gilmanton starts pulling away. Osa drains a three. The Panthers go up nine. Gilmanton beats their rival Independence tonight by a final score of 63-38. To some girls basketball conference play opening up tonight in the scenic blocks. Hillsboro hosts New Lisbon. First quarter, Sammy Levy with her made free throw would put the Tigers in the board first one to zero. Still in the first, Lady Rocket, Adele Hansen with the deep two. New Lisbon up by one. Late in the first, Allison Wogan inside the arch for the bucket. Rockets up by three. Hillsboro, a narrow 27-24 win over New Lisbon. A little ways up Highway 33. Cashton hosts Brookwood early in the third. Jamie Schmitz dishes it to Sarah Peterson for the easy two. Cashton trailing by 18. Mid third quarter now. Brianna Nelson with the steal and the pass to Leticia Madrigal where she gets the lay in. Brookwood goes up big. Still in the third, Cashin, fast break. Abby Kaiser with the bucket, plus the foul. Falcons too much for the Eagles. Bailey Hammond with the steal, and Cecilia Mendoza with the lay-in. Brookwood, big winners tonight, 75-32. Look, Crescent girls looking to get off to a 2-0 start, hosting Kenyon Wanamingo. First half, nice look, no-look pass from Brene Bierman in the corner who drains the three. Lancers up 15-10. Then some nice quick passing, sets up a wide open Jen Michalki from behind the three-point line. They now are up 20-15. Now they work the ball inside to Katie Waller. Nice left-hand scoring layup there. What a game this turns out to be, and a heartbreaker for the Lancers. Kenyon Wanamingo wins 87-80. That's a final in double overtime. Well, don't go anywhere for News 8 Highlight Zone to come, but first, more scores from the evening. Take a